Hey y'all, this is a extra video from my grocery haul because I got happy mail today and without crying if possible, I just want to tell you how on time it was because here in YouTube land, we call it happy mail, but it really does make me happy because you know what? It's been one of those weeks. You know the toilet paper shortage? It's been one of those weeks where you need that toilet paper for. You know the kind of week I'm talking about? It's just been a bad pain week. Just a bad pain week. And that makes everything bad. Um, the numbing part, it's getting worse. And it's to the point to where... Like the other week, I was walking around with my socks on, and I I was doing something that day. It might have been a Sunday when I was doing some prep work or whatever, but I had been on my feet more than usual, and I did not know until I went to the bathroom and I looked down, I had been walking around and my socks were halfway off my feet because I, I cannot feel my feet, and I cannot feel socks or shoes on my feet. So, that... And it's moving up my legs further. I went to the store last Friday. It was last Friday when I went to do my grocery pickup. I just had my little slide-ons. These ones I got on now. And they were flicking cars around. David was working on one and this and that. And where I park, it's in the way to get from the driveway and then the front where they park to the garage. So he had moved and had me in the front of the house and so I had to walk and we have these now I've talked about these just stupid rocks in this driveway that this man sold us that we should have never listened to him anyway by the time I got to the car I almost fell down I lost my balance and it's because I had slipped out of my shoe and I didn't know it my foot had come out of the sandal and was like teetering on the heel in the back and then I lost my balance until I looked down I did not realize I was falling out of my shoe because I cannot feel my feet when I'm sitting in my chair and I have these little slide on bedroom shoes honest to God no exaggeration I have a blanket because you know that's where I have to sleep so I have a, a blanket when I have that blanket on I cannot tell if those shoes are on my feet or not when I'm propped up. I tried to, last night, as a matter of fact, I was trying to kick them off because my feet swell and they get tight in them. Even though they're, they're men's and they're bigger, I have to buy them like that. I was trying to kick them off and then I pulled the blanket and I didn't even have them on because I, I can't feel it. So that, that is really, really getting on my nerves. And the worst the worst part, and this is probably TMI, but you know what? It is what it is, and we all have bodies, and we all have the same body parts. And if it's TMI for you, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. But the numbing part is started up, you know, because it's from the peach nerve. So it is up on my left side, down by when it's when I told him what about a month ago it was right after I saw him so yeah it goes down the left side and it like goes down the hip and the hamstring and the groin area and then it kind of skips the knees and it goes down to the feet well now the feet is working back up all, all the way up my calf so all the way up my calf is but it's the outside not the inside well it's getting worse up top because I can't feel my private areas when I'm like taking a bath or cleaning. And like I said, if it's TMI, guess what? I can't help it. Because you know what? I got different initials for it from what it is for me. <laughs> I can't think what they are, but trust me, it's worse than TMI. So that's really getting on my nerves. Because I feel like. I can't even describe, I can't describe how that makes you feel. And I come on here to tell you about Happy Mail, not the friggin' 
cry like a dirt baby. But talking about happy mail, it makes me reflect on the things that made me not happy. <laughs> That now makes me happy. <laughs> so what I got, I, I'm sitting in the car. I just got back from the post office. And uh, th that was another thing. I, I mentioned it in my grocery haul. But they didn't have toilet paper at Walmart. He said, and I ordered every week in my groceries. It's not like I was trying to hoard it like these other people who, who take it all. And the people like us that need toilet paper, we can't get it. He said their shelves were completely empty. Excuse me. Completely empty. He said even their canned foods are getting gone. They didn't even have dried beans. Walmart brand dried beans. So I got David. He must be on he must be on a trek to find toilet paper. Because I have an order from a Harris Teeter. Now this is another thing. I've now put it in yesterday. I never have trouble getting my time. I usually set it for like 10.30. That way I have time to get Walmart, come home, get it filmed, get it put up. Then I go get Harris Teeter. And my nose, oh, it ain't, but it feels like it is. Um, I couldn't get till 3.30 today. So they're slammed. Well, the the list of things that Walmart was out of and some other things that somehow were removed from my buggy, my online buggy. <coughs> oh, I got a dry spot. Must be that stupid crone. So I, I told David, I said, well, I'm just going to put in a food line pickup order. And um, then if I can't get toilet paper there, then I'll at least have Harris Teeter to fall back on. I went to go Instacart. They don't even have a time until tomorrow. That was 10.30 this morning. Normally, I'll go on there and just ready. It'll say ready within an hour and sometimes within a half hour. Again, it's just right down the street. It's ready because they don't do that much business on their pickup. There's hardly ever anybody ever been in line when I got there. So, I'm like, well, I got to take my big old butt and walk down up in the store. And he, he was sitting over eating breakfast. He goes, I'll go. So, I wrote him his list, and, you know, I was just exasperated. I'm just like, okay, this is what I want. If they don't have it, get whatever, you know, get whatever, get whatever. And I'm like, toilet paper, just get whatever you can find. I don't care what it is, as long as we can have some, right? And I said, and then if you don't get none there, then we'll try Harris Teeter. And then if you can't find a Harris Teeter, we'll try Sam's, because Sam's and everybody's sending around their emails, and Sam says that they're trying to keep everything in stock, and they're doing pretty good at it. So, I said, we'll just go buy some big, <laughs> giant one, right? Well, Holly got her a new car. Her and Kyle got a new car yesterday, and she, he didn't get to see it, and she was at work, and then she was at school or whatever, and he just got to see it today. So, she went and took him a ride, riding around and everything, and she, they've been back for, she got back and she had to go to, well, their school starting Monday is going online only, but she had to meet with a TA today for something, and then she had to go to work. Anyway, so, probably, it's 12.30, he's been gone probably well over an hour, and food line is, if it takes 10 minutes, it, you know, just right there. And he didn't have that many things to get. So he must be out hunting toilet paper. Toilet paper, people? So then that's, that's on my nerves because I couldn't get my groceries and my paper. Then I was going to get some gas because I was just about on E and I got a doctor's appointment in the morning and I got to go out of town. So I'm like, well, I'll get my gas today. I go on over to the gas. I was going to go there and then to the post office because I knew I had a box. I got that informed delivery that said I had a box and it said I had a card. Didn't know till I got there there was another box. I somehow missed that. So um, I went to the QT and I told myself, and this is how I know, I called it up. I called it up. I said, they better not say, please see cashier. You know, if your, I was told before, if you use your debit card and you have less than $50 in your account, 
it's going to make you go inside and pay. And it happens every time. This is very rarely I have more than $50 once I pay my bills. <laughs> once I pay my bills <laughs> and buy some groceries or whatever. David buys the groceries, but I'll fill in, you know. And uh, I was using a credit card this time. Because there ain't no money in the Kimmy's bank. So I was using the credit card to get the gas. And I said, if this thing makes me say, see cashier, I'm going to lose it. Because I'm not walking good today. What happens? Pop it in there. Put the zip code in. Please see cashier. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I was looking around the thing. If they had a button to like talk. And they'd have one. So I walked up. And on the way I found two pennies. Both of them heads up. Could it get better today? <laughs> it did at the post office. It did at the post office. It got better at the post office. So I get in there, and this little snot nose, the way he treated me was like I was trying to pull a scam, because I, I told him I just got this card replaced, because somebody had tried to run some stuff through that wasn't supposed to be run through, was not authorized, so they sent me a new card, just got it a couple days ago, activated it, and I thought I activated it, and I told him, I said, well, maybe... I didn't get it activated enough. He said, it was declined at the pump. I said, well, will it take it here? Well, we can see. So I put it in there. And I looked. And I said, oh, so it's declined. He goes, yep. And he's t he just, his little attitude, he was just snotty. And I'm like, you know what? You're treating me like I'm some kind of criminal. Everybody has something wrong. Is not They're not a criminal. You know, things do happen. So I said, well, I'll, I'll go out here and see if I, you know, check on it and see if it's active. But he was, he wasn't paying me no attention. He did not care. So I went out, sat in the car. Sure enough, I had not activated it properly because it said, um, are you calling because your car was declined? I said, yes. <laughs> it said it was declined because it wasn't activated. You want to activate it? I said, yes. So I got out and put my gas. I said, boy, if it makes me go back in and see that cashier, I'm going to give him a, a little heads up to quit treating people like dirt. When there is people that have real problems, everybody ain't out to hoodoo somebody. So that had me all ill. So it's just been just one of those weeks. And then when I got my my happy mail, I was just like, y'all know. It's like y'all just know. It was right on time. So, um, golly, I'm going to stop this foolishness and go in the house and open this stuff up and maybe my husband will be home shortly with some toilet paper and I can go pee. <laughs> you know what I told him? I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to go. I told him when I put my grocery order I was making it like Wednesday. And they, that's when they was talking to all the toilet paper getting gone and everything. I said, okay, honey. I said, if I don't get my toilet paper come Friday... I said, we gonna start eating a lot of corn on the cob. <laughs> so I didn't get my paper today. I'm like, well, I better start buying that corn. <laughs> I don't know y'all seen that meme going around Facebook. It shows the toilet roll holder and somebody's got like a twine or something with just a bunch of old dried up corn cobs. Oh my gosh. Good times. I was telling Kyle. Now see, I, I used to outhouse growing up straight this little dirt road right here in front of me is where my great aunt grew, lived and I stayed with her when I was little and she didn't have indoor plumbing well she had water inside but she had no toilet inside for I, I was I was grown before she ever got an uh, inside toilet and shower and um so I grew up using an outhouse and, and I'm 58 and normally outhouses were mostly gone by that time when I was that age because everybody had their indoor plumbing but she just didn't for whatever reason i don't know why she didn't i don't i don't know i really don't know i never asked her and um so i was telling kyle i said yeah i said i got newspapers down there because i keep them for flares tank and he was like he started laughing i said you know they use the magazines up in the outhouses don't act like i don't know <laughs> so <laughs> I might well I'm not 58 I'll be 58 this summer so I've seen a lot of old ways that maybe 
um, other people my age might might have missed, but part of my family stayed in the old ways. She had the old ringer washing machine in the basement, and I used to love to go down there and help her. And you know what? This day and age, you'd be like, oh, I can't let my child near that because they're going to, you know, wring their hand off. But back then, I was helping. Now, I was little, but I was helping. I was feeding them close to there for her because they they treated me like an adult and had me do adult things. She's the one that taught me to sew when I was just a little thing. I sewed my own Barbie doll clothes. So, they, family members like her, my mama and my Ain't Foofy, she was Foofy. Ain't Foofy and Lindora. They taught me to know how to take care of myself in um, the old ways. So I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful that I grew up not... I wish I had... It makes sense. You wish you had more. But you're thankful that you grew up learning the things that you learned so I'm glad that I grew up and I know the things that I know even if they're not in practice today they were in practice you know up until my health went down all these old timey ways were in practice you know except that out <laughs> except for the outhouse mm -mm, I got my running water and my indoor toilet <laughs> might not got no toilet paper but I got a toilet <laughs> okay oh I feel better now I've got it all out Thank y'all for putting up with me, listening to the and all that. So I'm going to go in the house and see what I got because I'm excited. Okay, I'll see you right in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. I got everything unpacked. Uh, got, I started to say I got all my crying out, but I ain't making no, <laughs> ain't making no promises because y'all, y'all, y'all touch me. <sighs> It just, I just can't get over the kindness. The kindness. <sighs> okay. Let's just do this before I start acting ignorant. <laughs> oh, let me start by saying, if you have commented on one of my videos and you didn't get a comment back, or at least a, a heart, a like, then... YouTube did it. It wasn't me, because y'all know I respond to everything, and at the very least, I give it a heart. I've called them before, you know, where they slid under the radar, and I was looking at something, and there was one up from like six days ago, like six days ago, on YouTube, it, when, there's a YouTube creator, and YouTube Studio. It will... It'll filter out comments uh, comments you've not responded to. And so when I look and I see, you know, hearts or comments, then that means there's nothing that I haven't gotten to. Well, I was looking for something specific. And I saw that comment from six days ago. I'm like, uh-uh. So then I started scrolling. I have missed from a week ago. How many ever days ago I have missed all kind of comments and that make that that bothers me because it, it's like oh you responded to so and so but you didn't respond to me it's because I didn't see it I will get around to it trust me on that because that really does bother me that does bother me um hold on I'm gonna cut this off <laughs> blow my nose okay you didn't need to hear that um. So, what? where shall we start? Well, let me start with my card. We'll put little pineapples on it. It, it is all handwritten, and I'm not going to read it, but it's very sweet. This is from your friends. I was reading it, and I'm like, okay, Sherry or Cheryl? It looks like Sherry. I'm like, but that's, that's not who Pandy is. Pandy is Andrea. Pandy is in Dubai. Pandy watches me from Dubai. She's from Indiana. And I kept looking. I'm like, from your friends with an S. This was <laughs> And Sherry, if, if I'm getting it wrong, let me know your um, subscriber name. Let me know who you are. She's from Indiana. So it's from her and from Pandy from Dubai. It's 
I don't even know how you say it. UAE, United Arab Emirates. I don't, I'm not. Oh, hold on. I got to get that phone call. Okay, that was my hair Teeter shopper. Had, had to grab her so I could find out. They had everything in stock, but I didn't order a toilet paper. <laughs> I didn't order no toilet paper from them. <laughs> so I don't know if they got any or not. I'll ask when I go today because I'm curious. I'm just curious. So, oh. anyway, that was my card from them. And I thank y'all. Um, just the, th I, I wish, I wish I could read. I could, but I'm not going to because I'm just not, got, I'm not going to. I wish y'all could read the words that are written to me. Very thoughtful words. Okay. Next. <laughs> this. Oh, I don't even know if I can read it. This comes from Melissa Lines. I think it's email. Melissa Lines slash email. Her little card. Wishing you healing that touches both body and spirit, peace in those moments when you need it most, and strength to sustain you day by day. Then, of course, you know, beautiful hair is sentiment. Um, I'm guessing Melissa made this for me. This is uh, you girls. <laughs> Hold on. I will tell you what the outside says. I don't think she'll mind this. The color reminded me of sunshine. Hopefully it will remind you that there are sunny days ahead. You are strong. So if you can see, it's a shawl to sit around in there when I get chilly. You really don't know how perfect this is because... Me and my daughter were just discussing this two days ago about how I flip the heat of the air constantly. If I do it five times in an hour, then I do it five times in an hour because I'm hot and then all of a sudden I start freezing. I'm going to turn the air on, the heat on, and then I get hot. I get cold, and then I go turn it, you know, oh, my nose, ears are stopping up. And so, oh, I need enough Kleenex. Hold on. So, I have my blanket over there where I sleep in my chair, and sometimes I want my blanket on because I'm chilly, but then it is too much. It's too much. So, this will be perfect. Perfect to pull off and on, and maybe I won't have to go to the um, AC and heat so much so thank you for such a thoughtful gift I just about run out of words to say I love it and it's beautiful I can't wait my husband's there I can't wait to show him all this I just told him I said I got a card in two boxes he's like whoa <laughs> some dude something you know what dudes say so thank you so much Melissa thank you so much then my other box came to me from Lisa, and I sent it right last time. She sent me a card. She's my Instagram buddy. She talks to me on Instagram, Lisa Guerrero, and her daughter. And I think it's Michaela. Let me know if I pronounced it right the way you had it written. So her and her daughter, they watch. And I knew her box was coming. Somehow I missed Melissa's. I get informed delivery, so I know when something's coming. I saw my card. I'm like, oh, I got a card from somebody in Indiana. I knew there was a box that said it would be here Friday. So I'm like, oh, that's from Lisa, because she said it was coming. Then I get there, and there was that other box from Melissa. I'm like, well, somehow I missed that <laughs> on the informed delivery, so that was just a bonus box. So let me put my, my little shawl over here somewhere. Hold on. So Lisa and her daughter sent me a box of goodies. And let me see. Well, first, uh oh, let me just say P 
Candy, did y'all put this? The uh, This sounds terrible, but it fell out. It was on my bed, and it was upside down. I'm like, well, what is that? I think it fell out of my card from Pandy and she, I don't even want to say it if I say it wrong. <laughs> Sherry, let me know which one of y'all sent me this. And I'm not being, um, trying to be tacky about it. It literally fell out of something when I opened the card or opened the box and was laying on my bed. So just let me know. They're little, um, which these are perfect for when I'm looking through cookbooks. These are perfect for clipping on the top to go back to and write on my little sticky note and then put it in my meal binder, my meal planning thingy. So let me know about that. So from Lisa and her daughter, first, you won't be able to see if I hold them up. I got a, a, a black shirt and then some navy pants. And these are my neck size down. And I'm going to get there. I'm going <laughs> I'm going to get there, okay? So thank you. That's that's an incentive gift. That gives me an incentive, something to work for. Now this, hold on. I keep like leaning in front of y'all. These community spiced pumpkin pecan pie. I think that's what all of them are. Yeah, she was telling me her daughter works for the grocery store, and so they like get she, she can find deals and whatnot sales, and she discovered Lisa says she discovered this coffee and she says she got plenty to last her, and she's really in love with it. So she sent me some to try. So I'm excited because you know I can tear up some pumpkin pumpkin spice anything. Now let me pour that out because. She also sent this bowl. How pretty is that? Y'all be seeing that on some cook with me's. Isn't that pretty? It's a it's Pioneer Woman. Then this <laughs> this kitchen towel. You can be any more uh, perfect than that. Read that. Trust your journey, and it's an owl. Y'all know I collect owls. I love owls. Be awesome. That's what I'm going to be. I'm going to be awesome while I'm trusting my journey with my owl. <laughs> this is cute, ain't it? It's cute. Oh, here's my card was hiding under. You will get through this. Let me show you. You will get through this. You are the... <sighs> okay. Let me do like them actors do. Because <laughs> I got to try to read this. You are that brave little flower that pushes its way up through the crack in the sidewalk. You are that small sliver of sunlight that is the first to find its way through the clouds. You will find your way through this challenge. You will overcome because that's what you do. <laughs> Y'all. Okay. I thought this, I'm not crying because it ain't Happy Meal, because it is Happy Meal. It's just, I'm just in that place of this, where it all comes out. It like all comes all the way up and then it just comes out through my eyes. <laughs> Y'all ever get like that, where everything just comes out through your eyes? <laughs> my eyes are taking one for the team today. Now this is from her daughter. This little purple bunny, her daughter, a little jar. I'm going to put that over there on my makeup table. And, um, or I don't know. I might put some little hard candies in it, put it in there beside my chair. I'll decide where I want to put it. But her daughter collects purple bunnies, and this is one of hers, and she gave it to me. That was very sweet. Then, uh, her daughter also gave me, because she liked this uh, bag. Listen, see the flowers? We don't have an ATV, so I think that's pretty cool. Me and my mama and my daughter. Hold on. One more time. <laughs> me and my daughter and my papa, we all call ourselves the bag ladies, because we love bags. You just don't know. I have 
this exact kind of bags that I had got some at the Dollar Tree. And then my big Marshalls bags that are made like that. And a couple other just just bags that I use when I actually do go into Aldi's. Or if I go somewhere else, I'll take them in with me and have them put my stuff in those bags instead of the plastic bags. And I'll be honest with you, it's not because I'm some environmentalist because I'm not. Make no sense to try to put on an air about it that I am. It's because it's just easier for me to carry these bags than it is those plastic bags. So I guess it kills two birds with one stone. So it's a good thing either way. So I'm going to put that behind my seat. So thank you. And then this. This is also Pioneer Woman. Isn't that pretty? Y'all be seeing that on my cooking videos too. So those are all from... Let's see, make sure I saw every little thing from Lisa and her daughter. Which, my word, what in the world has happened? Did y'all see that? Oh, like a ghost just passed it up in here in front of me. <laughs> Whoa, let's get on. Uh-uh, no. Uh-uh. Listen, I'm going to tell <laughs> y'all call me crazy. Y'all just call me crazy if you want to. But, you know, my best friend died three years ago. And I, 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 ghosts are <laughs> something that I believe in, but I don't believe in. Because I'm like, okay, I believe in them, but I don't want to believe in them because I don't want them to be true. So, I know it sounds weird, but I'm all the time like, okay. Chuck, you know I love you, you know I miss you, but you better not come see me. <laughs> if you try to come see me, it's going to be on. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was maybe, oh, that was Chuck passing up in here, trying to see all my goody stuff. Because, you know, if he was here, he would be all up in it. He would stop by after work. I ain't kidding you. He would stop by after work to come see what I got. When I get my happy meals and all this and that, he would make a point. He would have, he would have made a point to stop by after work to come see what I got. Because he was that kind of friend. So, all right. Well, I guess that's all the ghost, <laughs> the ghost talk we're going to talk about. <laughs> Don't y'all pick on me about no ghost. <laughs> okay, I think that's all. Oh, I feel kind of like this video is a little bit disjointed, but... When I get so emotional, I kind of lose my my thought pattern, my train of thought. You, um, you know what I mean? You kind of can't formulate your your sentences and everything the way you should because you're just so emotionally overwhelmed that it just kind of takes over. That's kind of how I feel like this video was. I don't even know when I go over here and play it back. When I edit it, I might be cringing because, oh. Joe, me and Joe were talking about some YouTube thing, and she's like, "Okay, here, let's watch it, see if it does it on yours." So she put on my video, one of my videos, and then turned her phone around so I could watch it <laughs> at the same time as her. And I started talking, and I was just like, oh, "That voice, oh!" When I'm editing over here, it don't sound like when it's like just playing the video. To be playing it. Then I'm just like. Oh my gosh. Honestly. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. I don't think I got nothing else dumb to say. I think that's all for this video. Thank you for. All the ways that you. Connect with me. No ways. Are more important than other ways. Gifts. Cards. Letters. Emails. Facebook messengers, Instagram messages, Facebook comments, video comments, gifts. It all is meaningful to me. All of it. And I just want you to know I appreciate you. And when I say it, I don't say it flippantly. If I say the same thing every single video that I get, this happy mail... And I say, y'all just don't know how much it means. Okay, then I mean it every time. It ain't, 
it ain't just being said to be said. Because I do mean it. And so I appreciate it. And I can't wait to go in there and tell my husband to come look and see what I got today. And again, I'll tell you, y'all are right on time. That that helps cap off a week. Look at there. Isn't that special? My phone's ringing. <laughs> How long did I sit here and talk before it finally rang? But it just had to. So on that note, I'm just going to end this video. And thanks again. And I will see you for something. I don't know what. We have a collab coming out Monday. This right. Yeah, Monday. I think at 10 o'clock. Don't quote me. You just keep looking for it. We're not going to set them as premieres because that kind of messes with watching it live. You can't back up for like 10 minutes. It's very, you know, YouTube needs to fix that. So we're just going to set them like to go live at, you know, the time. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> <sighs> tired. <laughs> Emotional upheavals get you that way, don't they? That and the lack of sleep. But it's Cook With Me using Trader Joe's products. And so that's fun. If you have a Trader Joe's in your area or you like to shop there, come watch it for some cool ideas. And so just be looking for that on Monday. Now, I really am going to zip it. <laughs> Bye.